Yeah, I can start to feel it uh, getting a little thicker now. I always like to use cold water when I mix this. Never use warm. If you use warm, this sucker will just set up way too fast. It will not give you enough time to really get good coverage. So, I always use a little cold water from the tap. Okay, that's starting to look pretty good there. Yeah, see how it's sliding down still, so it's not firmed up yet enough. And we're getting a little thin on top, but I don't see any any of the plug poking through, so we're trying to keep that as liquid as we can there. Okay. Whoop! Wipe that right off the mold, off the plug. All right, let's wipe it back on. Just takes a little patience. Might have to try it on on the, the test piece, you know, until you get used to it, but my test piece is always the finished product. <laughs> Talk about patience, I don't have a lot, so. Okay. It's starting to feel good. Okay, now before that gets too set up, I got some strips over here, a burlap that's been soaking in water. I'm going to run these across here. This just kind of gives you, once we get the second coat on, it gives you some reinforcement for when you're handling the plug and uh, pulling the stuff out of it so that it tends to, not to crack. Because this is going to be pretty solid once it's, once it's uh, cured up. Well, we'll get pieces all the way around here. Yeah. It's too long. I don't want to do it. There we go. Sometimes I don't even bother with this. But, uh, a lot of times I'll wind it, especially the bigger mold. You know, we want to keep it from cracking when you're handling it, moving it around. Of course, I've dropped a few of these. And uh, that results in a non usable piece. <laughs> okay. There we go. Looking good. Whoops, got a little area showing over here. Match that up against the, against the tape. It's the burlap. Oh, see, she slid down on me again. I probably had this a little bit too thin. It's not setting up quite as fast as I would like to see it. Okay. Got a lot of liquid down here trapped in the in the frame down here. What do we do about that here? Okay. Just gotta make sure there's nothing showing from the Plug.
Yeah, we've been running about 12 and a half minutes here, so it's uh, if you can make it work when it's real thin, you wind up with a smoother mold and less chance of air bubbles. So you just you got to look out and pay attention to it and make sure you catch everything before it solidifies, leaving an open gap of some kind. <sighs> okay. Yeah, see, I'm having a problem out here with the bottom part. We've got quite enough material here. It's going to be thin, but it doesn't matter as long as you get a good second coat. As long as the first coat covers and uh, sets up without any bubbles in it, then you can get the strength from the second coat because you slop on as much as you want. It's like when we get this going. This flat surface here, I'll slop a bunch more over here and uh, we'll take this little bridge here, go across it so I get a nice flat surface so when I'm laying up I can flip the mold over and I got a good good uh, area to sit on, a good flat surface to sit on its level. Okay. Pour some of that water out of there. There we go. Okay. You can scoop this up and slap it on. Yeah, it's still got a problem here. This doesn't want to. It's very thin. Could have used more material. Could have used a little thicker. But that's the fun of it. That's the challenge. When you screw up, it ain't that you're going to screw up. It's what you do after you screw up. Okay. That's going to run out. Yeah. I think if I leave, let it alone now, It'll, uh, it'll set up here in about 10-15 minutes and then we'll mix up the second coat and get that on there. So I'll stop the video here and then uh, turn it back on when we get ready for the second coat.